Martin, my good man. Hello. Show me your motorcycle. Um, so this is my personal CBF 1000, complete with awesome top box. Oh God, mate, I, I don't want to pan around. I'm, I'm, I just, okay, just quickly. Um, okay, so how long have you had this? Oh, since about 2010, so it's what, eight years now? Oh, you've had this a while Yeah, then. so I've had this a while. Um, it's a 2007 plate, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is my own bike. Done a few bits and pieces to it, but yeah. And this is really your runaround, isn't it? Yeah, so um, I changed from a 600RR mm -hmm. to this um, when my wife, um, or girlfriend at the time, now wife, uh, used to come on the back with me. And the 6RR was, the pillion seat was massive, mm -hmm. massively high and not very big. So I decided to get something a bit more sort of user friendly for two people and we used to go about on this okay um, so yeah these actually used to wheelie really well <laughs> especially the ones without fair they're fully naked ones believe it or not they were good and i have heard this it actually sounds quite good for those through those were they scorpion yeah scorpions the twin twin cans mm -hmm. um yeah no it's, it does sound nice i mean i know it's not everyone's cup of tea but you know for, for what i wanted it's, it's a really nice bike and it goes really well. well but it does set you up quite nicely doesn't it for? Big for your new bike. This one. Yeah, look at the floor, look at the floor, look at the floor. And Martin, this is? So this is the 2018 CB1000, um, CB1000R Plus. The CB1000R Plus. Plus. Now, what makes it a plus? Um, so, over the standard version, this one's got a couple of little extras. The main one being the quick shifter, um, and then it's a lot of aesthetic touches. <coughs> so, if you scoot down here, um, aluminium sides to the front uh, front mud guard, mm -hmm. um, aluminium caps on the rad, yep. and then a rad cover. Okie dokie. Um, a screen. What passes for? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then a, a rear seat cow, which okay. is quite nice. And the the mud guard is sided with aluminium. Okay. Um, still plastic here, but it's got aluminium like plates or whatever on it. So. Can I assume that all of these bits are probably available in the official part catalogue, yeah. and this is just the model where they've added it on for you? Oh yeah, it's got heater grips as well. Ooh. Which, which in the current heat wave I've had on a lot. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it's the, the standard version and then all this stuff's available mm -hmm. extra um, for an extra cost. Okay, uh, cool. Now, what, tell us what you know about this bike. Um, so this uh, particular one is a new design chassis from the old CB1000, um, but it still uses the same engine. Okay. Um, which is similar to the, the Fireblade engine, but it is, it is different. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this right? Okay. So what we so right. So what we essentially have here, like the new Fireblade, is the 2016 engine, but with 70% new internals. Yeah, so so not completely new not at all. Not completely new at all. No, no, no. 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 Um, so you're getting increased um, power. So we've gone from 123.4 uh, brake horsepower mm -hmm. to 143.5. This is claimed, power. isn't it? Claimed, yeah. Obviously, yeah. yeah. Um, so you've got an increase in power mm -hmm. without a new engine. Um, so yeah, so... What about torque? Um, so torque... Uh, oh, God, no, you've got me. Come on. I don't know the torque. Come on, you do know the torque. I don't know the torque. Don't you know the torque? No, I don't know the torque. Um, but we can find out. Oh, okay. Should we put it here? She put it. She put it there. Oh, yeah, great. Give me more stuff to do. Thanks. Do like yes, we can, round? we can. We can. We can. We can find the torque out. Yeah, it's yeah. no problem. Um, and actually, this comes with more than just the shifter, doesn't it? Because it comes with the down blipper as well. Yeah. So shift up and down. Yeah. Um, which, when I picked this up, I didn't think it was very good. Um, <laughs> but we've since found out that it was user error more than anything. <laughs> now it's important that I say this because I'm fully capable of holding my hands up and going no that was completely my fault um so basically what i was finding on the ride home was that sometimes it was really smooth on it you know boom 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 on the upshift on the upshift and the down well, mm -hmm. as much as it can be um but and then other times it would be really jerky like it it'd go up and you'd be like, oh christ um and i couldn't figure out it was under low speed then it wasn't then it was under high speed and then it wasn't it, it, it varied um you <laughs> took it out <laughs> 
being the, the expert rider that you are, um, I mentioned about not leaving my foot or not taking too long to shift. Mm -hmm. I then took it out again and I was quicker with the shifts and it's spot on. It's, yeah. You know, it's totally my error, but yeah. you know, it's a learning curve. So, yeah. Um, you know. Well, it is. It's the same system on the five blade. It's actually very good. Um, I think the only, I'd say the only downside sometimes if you want to shift up a couple of gears, bam, bam, like that, it won't let you do it. It'll shift up and then leave or move and nothing yeah. happens. And then you do it again. It clicks in. It's weird. But the downshift look is really good. Um, and as it's not, likely to be being hammered within an inch of its life on track we shouldn't see any of the uh, uh, neutral <laughs> no, no, no. No. i mean my my experience was comparing it to the the quick shifter on charlie's r6 mm -hmm. um and we had the uh the Ducati course 959 in the other day yeah. um you know they're there i used them without an issue it was just i noticed it mm -hmm. on this but again it was my uh, my error or, yeah. You know, you know. Well, anyway, people can read about all this kind of stuff in future issues of the mag, and yeah. so let's let's look a bit more about the actual bike. So, anything special about it that you um, really want to point out? Because I quite like the dash. Yeah, the dash is pretty nice. Uh, shall I do that again? Yeah, go on. So, so if you can, if we point out a few things, obviously gear indicator on here, fuel mm -hmm. gauge, all the usual gubbins. Um, but you probably saw it when we turned it on and off over here. We've got uh, an LED light system, um, which if I just pop it into first gear, yeah. you'll see it's changed colour. Now, this is, I don't know, have you seen this before? I've seen yeah, it yeah, no, across well, the top, I, I, I'm not I, like this. It, I figured out what was going on when I rode it. Yeah. So, so if I just quickly go up the gears, that's a neutral. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, I can't get out a second now. Okay, oh, so basically, cut. <laughs> when we go up the gears, it changes colour. Mm -hmm. um, so it goes from I think that's as you call that probably call that yellow um, to red to green to blue and I think it's pink. That was purple in it as well. Yeah. Um, but this can be customised. So at the moment we've got it set to change when the gear changes. Um, but you can also set it so that when you get to a certain rev range, it, it lights up. Um, and there's a couple of different. Um, couple of different ones we can probably so so if you see I'm gonna just gonna quickly change it so it's in gear at the moment eco oh that's to, that, that indicates when you should change up right so you bet like your eco mode in your car it tells you when to change gear to, I hate that, to, to stay economical <laughs> um, rev counter um, uh, so so if you do rev oh, counter so, no, this, sorry that's not rev counter that's uh, the color so that's so this color. changes as you get more higher up the revs so sorry no, as you get higher up the that, rev, sorry. that one i think is the color okay and then w oh sorry oh, i lost it now w uh was just white okay so color white off yeah hmm. and mode so if we leave it in mode it's in sport mode at the moment mm -hmm. it's probably the best way to show it, actually that is actually pink to my eyes yeah um, and then when we go sport user see there you go that's blue, that's blue. and then rain mode kind is of aqua. aqua and standard mode is purple it's purple so that just quickly shows you the different colors mm -hmm. um, so a couple of different uh, modes that you can have just the the um, the lights in as well as your modes on here which is sport user rain and standard yeah and obviously Honda's different, so they have torque control rather than traction control. Yeah. Um, but that's the same thing, and actually that's the lowest setting, and that is the very best setting for this. <laughs> I don't actually think it'd need it, but anyway, uh, electronic brake and P for performance. Performance, so which is at the maximum, because that's what we're going to be getting out of it. <laughs> maximum <laughs> performance. <laughs> Mate, that's terrible. <laughs> um, okay, uh, but yeah, I mean, I quite, I quite stick it in neutral. Let's uh, see the rev counter. So that has she revs, man. Yeah, man. But um, yeah, I, I like the dash. It's not your full colour malarkey, but it's smart. It's it's a bit like the Jixers. Although I actually wish the Jixxers was a little bit more I think it's clear, I think it's, little, as, as clear as this one is. I think it suits the bike, which is, well, Honda call it the Neo Cafe Racer. Mm -hmm. So it's not Cafe Racer, not, it's not full Cafe Racer. I don't have to have a beard and a 
you know, a lumberjack jacket. But you've got the lumberjack jacket you have. Um, but it's it's reminiscent enough of the old CB Thau, which you know I used to love. So yeah, hopefully, um, well, I'm looking forward to spending a bit more time on this. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to. No spoilers yet. Yeah. All I will say is, this very much surprised me. Number one. Number two. This is the most fun I've had on a Honda in a long time. <laughs> you haven't been on that yet. I'll take the top box off if that makes it any better. Okay, now we might be talking. So get used to it first, and then you're going yeah. to work out where to, what to do, where to go. I've already got a few ideas of what okay, you yeah. might want to do with this, um, but I, which I won't tell you right now. Miles, um, and, miles and mods. Yeah, miles and mods. Yeah, I'd love. Well, I mean, maybe I should just let you work it all out for yourself, hey? Okay, thanks. Is that fun? Yeah. But otherwise, liking it so far? Yeah, definitely. Oh, good, mate. Good. I'm glad. It is a nice... I'll tell you what, I'll give it... And you've already taken the rear pillion pegs off as well. Yeah, got rid of them straight away. Well, I didn't really see the point in keeping them because they put a seat cowl on it and I've not got the seat, so it seemed a bit pointless leaving them on there. Well, it definitely helps with the looks, yeah. that's for sure. 100%. Because... um. Quite a few people, we, when we were up at Coombe the other week, a few people were looking at, looking at it, and then you literally went to the shops about half an hour ago and you had, what, three different people yeah. stop and ask you about it? I think it's just, it's a bit muscly, but it's futuristic as well. I mean, look at the headlight. It's all, not the running lights, they're freaking all. Oh, the running, there's, I hate that. Um, but you know, it looks quite cool. The tail light looks quite cool. Um, do, do you think, when you see a bike coming towards you with these running lights, do you just think it's broken? Yeah, I think the, the resistor the or something's yeah, on the indicator. Yeah, me too. It just, it just, why? Honestly, I why? Don't know, that's something we can... It's just a cheap way of not having to put extra running lights on, isn't it? Oh. Let's be honest. But um, apart from that, though, I, yeah, personally, very surprised with this bike. Very surprised. I think it's got potential. Um, and so I'm very much looking forward to seeing what you come up with, mate. So, uh yeah, you better get cracking and figure out what you're going to do in episode two. I'll go then and get on with it. You better go. Okay. But I'm going to follow you. Okay. We'll see where you're going. Do you want to take this off? Pardon? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't leave that anywhere near me, mate. You might never see it again. And there he goes. Bye. Get my mods. My mods.